Here's a concept that I want to introduce with this calculator. Um, you know, two resistors in parallel. You can use the product of a sum rule to find the total resistance. Basically, what it says is RT is equal to R1, R2. So that's R1, that's R2 over R1 plus R2. So the product of the two over the sum of the two. So this is going to be 10 times 10 over 10 plus 10, which is 100 over 25 ohms. Now let's say you're given um, this equation or this circuit down here in an exam they say you have a 240 volt source 60 hertz motor one has a resistance of 15 and a half ohms inductive reactance of 25.3 ohms motor two has Resistance 21.4 ohms and uh, inductive reactance of 16.0 ohms. If the question says find the total current and the total power factor, um, well, we all know if you're going to be working this one motor at a time, it will definitely take some time um, out from you in the exam and uh, it introduces uh, the, the possibility for, for errors doing so many different calculations. So with this calculator we can set up uh, these two motors here in a formula like this using the product over sum rule that we just introduced with the resistors here. So ZT, the total impedance of the circuit, is equal to Z1, Z2, over Z1 plus Z2. Um, so when these values over here are written in the formula, it's like that. And, um, we can go ahead and just plug these values into the calculator. So we're looking at open bracket, open bracket, fifteen point five plus twenty five point three I close bracket there, open bracket, that's doing the product there, twenty one point four plus sixteen and zero. I close bracket close bracket divide that by so that was the product we're gonna divide it by the sum 15.5 plus 25.3 I plus 21.4 Plus sixteen point zero I close bracket close bracket. There you go. Total impedance of that circuit is gonna be fourteen point three one five at an angle of forty seven point zero seven degrees. Now without doing much to the circuit here or without doing much else we can go ahead and, and find it because the value for zt is stored in the calculator's memory so it here is going to be the total voltage or the supply of voltage divided by total impedance so without doing anything else we can go ahead and just punch in 240 which is the supply voltage divided that 
by alpha there answer here equals and there you go it is equal to 16.766 at an angle of uh, second function exp minus 47.07 degrees so that's saying 16.766 at 47.07 login because the angle is negative so it's logging it's an inductive circuit as we can see it's two motors so it's inductive but um yeah there you go it uh the calculator is really powerful and it reduces the time that you need once you get to understand it and uh, from that you can just find the power factor pretty easily and just say cos of 47.07 and uh, your power factor is 0 0.681 so your it let's put it down here as returning hey okay. t is 16.766 Ampere at 0.68 PF power factor. Simple.